everybody, it's Anne here from Positively PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm back with another tutorial. Now, I came across this really cool technique the other day on YouTube and I forgot the lady's name but I will put it in the bottom of this, the description of the video. Um, I don't know if it was her idea or not but anyway I just thought it was so nice and it's, well the lady had called it the crinkled paper technique. And I think it looks like marble actually to me. So that's what I'm going to show you how I've done. Um, I've used the, I think that was Flirty Flamingo and Sweet Sugar Plum ink. Um, and a bit of Blush and Bride underneath. Because don't forget those colours will be retiring as well soon. So for this one we're going to make it in Dapper Denim. Then I'm going to have a piece of Sweet Sugar Plum. Then I've got my piece of Whisper White, which is going to be the one that we're going to do the technique on. All right. So this measures 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth. The Sweet Sugar Plum is five and three quarters by four inches and the whisper white is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths okay oh and when you score this in the middle at five and seven eighths all right so now basically all you want to do with your piece of whisper white is crumple it <laughs> and I know you're probably thinking oh just crumple it just be careful you don't want to tear it because it can be easy torn you want to kind of create like kind of bumps and lumps on the card So I'm going to just have it like that for now. I'm using Dapper Denim and Sweet Sugar Plum. So I'm just going to get a bit of scrap. And all I'm going to do is just lightly kind of skim over. And can you see the idea is it then sticks to the kind of creases that you've got on your card. Now don't worry too much if you're not happy. I mean it's only card you can do it again. So I'm just going to crinkle it some more because we want the other ink not to cling to the same creases but different ones. So now I'm going to go over with the Sweet Sugar Plum. Alright, and then I'm going to put some creases in here. and I think that looks okay I mean you probably never get two the same really then I've got a bit of water just some regular water in one of the spritzers and I'm just going to give it a little spray and that will just kind of run some of the colours and then I've also got some um, oh damn, Surgical Spirit with some Wink of Stella in and that's going to give it a nice shimmer I don't know if 
you can see the shimmer there. Mm, I don't think the camera's picking it up, but it's definitely there. It looks lovely. No, I don't think it's going to pick it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly dry it off with the heat tool. There we are. And I'm just going to kind of flatten this out. Now my hands are full of shimmer. Okay, so that is basically the technique, which I do think it looks like marble. You can have great fun with this because you can use different colours, a few different colours. You I suppose you could maybe try it on watercolour card. I don't know if it would work because I know it's a lot thicker. This is just regular Whisper White. So we're going to attach this to our sweet sugar plum. Just going to pop some fuse on, but I'm going to pop it all the way along because the card won't be completely flat and I don't want bits sticking out. So this is going to go on our sweet sugar plum. just looks so pretty doesn't it really nice and then I've got our card base of dapper denim and that is then going to sit on the top of there where's that come from the paper stuck to my finger never mind so again, some fast fuse. I'm going to have mine this way, I think. There we go, gorgeous. And then I've got the stamp set, which I love this at the moment. It is Southern Serenade. And that's the same one I used on that one. So I think we'll do it in um, dapper, dapper Denim, I think. So I've got another piece of Whisper White and just a piece of scrap here because we are going to cut it out with one of the lots of labels we're going to use the second largest to cut it out and then the um, third from the smallest the third one up is going to do our little sentiment okay so we need them two out so I've got the kind of lacy stamp first which is beautiful and we'll need to stamp off because we don't want it to be too dark. Okay, so we're going to stamp that off. And then we're just going to pop it about there because we need to leave room to cut it out. Okay. And then now I've got the flowery stamp going to ink that up with a dapper denim and I'm just going to kind of stamp that just off the center a little bit towards the right I love that set absolutely beautiful and then I've got the little thank you because we're going to cut that out of there. I'm just checking I've got enough room for the die. No I haven't so I'll just stamp it on here. Ok 
here so I'm just going to bring the big shot in and we're just going to cut our little elements out Okay, so we're going to cut this one out. We might have to trim the paper on here. And then hopefully we should get them both on together. Let me get this one on here. Hmm, I think I might have gotten this, the, um, too big this one I think it's the second smallest actually not the third yes it is sorry it's the second smallest the other one was way too big so I'm going to run this through there we go upside down and then our little sentiment, which is thank you. Let's quickly get this out the way. Bring our card in. And then I've got some dimensionals. Two on the back of this little sentiment as well. Okay, so we're going to pop that just there. So just roughly in the middle. And then the little sentiment is going to go on the bottom. I'm just going to kind of cover that little bit there with it. Just like that. And I think that is absolutely gorgeous. And I've also got some of the... Um, the little enamel shapes in the same colours, um, sweet sugar plum and dacker denim and I think I'm just going to pop just a few little random ones on. Like that and there we go. So I hope you will give it a try the crinkled paper technique it's absolutely beautiful and it really does look like marble so there we go hope you've enjoyed it all the info will be on my blog if you'd like to pop over and have a look and as I said don't forget that these colours will be retiring very soon don't leave it till the last minute because they'll be gone um, I would my advice is if you want them get them now because they won't be around for much longer so thanks for watching take care and bye for now